Hello guys, welcome back to Intel Electronics. So here I have a battery that reads 12.3 volts and with the help of this one we are going to test the Teparia AC-DC tester to see whether it can detect static DC voltages. And like I have mentioned in my previous video, you can see it is not detecting that. The flash mark appears that means it is slightly detecting the presence of some kind of DC and obviously right now it is just floating, there is no load connected to it and it's not detecting that. And as a load, here I'm attaching a 10 ohms 12 20 watt uh, resistor and you can see the voltage has dropped because the current flow through that resistor is going to be somewhere above 1 amps and with, even with the load you can see it's not detecting the 12 volt DC. And to appear the flash mark, you need to have a direct contact on the terminal. And you can see it is detecting the uh, the NCV part at least works, but you need to make a physical contact with the terminal. Like sometimes it doesn't even work, see? And it's not working through the uh, insulator case. It, you need to have a physical contact. So this is a battery that I was using. So almost certainly we can say that with just 12 volt, this tester is not good at detecting that. But we are not stopping here. We are going to test this setup with a 120 volt setup since they claim this can measure up to 250 volts AC or DC. So this is the setup that I'm using. So here you can see you have a set of batteries and uh, it's combined voltage of 120 volts. Let's see whether this can detect it right now because it claims to work with 12 to 250 volt DC. So Again, uh, I'll explain the setup first. So here you can see 10 batteries starting from here. Here's a set of five batteries connected in series. Again, another five connected in series on the top side. Combined, it produces uh, 120 volts DC. All the batteries are at 12 volts. And here is the other side, which I will explain the setup. You can see it's reading 120 volts DC. Don't worry about the negative symbol. It's just because the uh, props are connected in reverse. That's it. And this is reading the voltage, open circuit voltage. And this meter is connected to the DC current mode. And since there is no load, almost uh, it's reading zero. And here I'm using a bulb as one load. And you can see the other terminal is connected to the open wire, which is floating. And also here is a 500 watt resistor load. Two of them connected in parallel to combine, uh, combined 500 watt load. And first, let's measure the open circuit voltage. So here are the voltage, 121 volts. And as a load, I'll be using this incandescent light bulb. And there's a good reason for doing that because incandescent bulb doesn't matter whether it's AC or DC, it just needs some kind of voltage for its operation. So this right here is a 200 watt, 240 volt device. Let me give you a close up of the wattage. So here's it, it's a 200 watt light bulb. Pretty rare these times, but it's good for these kind of application. So as you can see, it's reading zero since it's floating, it's open circuit. Let's see whether it's detecting something. So as you can see, sometimes the neon is lighting up and it is showing some random voltage. It's not picking up the exact voltage. It's not picking up almost anything. Sometimes it's making some random displays and sometimes even the uh, neon bulb uh, starts glowing randomly and that's all about it. But the NCV portion works, you can see See, the NCV works and I'm even holding my foot to the ground. I know it doesn't matter but still just to uh, give some uh, path for the current to flow. I'm just doing that. And you can see right now with the 120 volts the NCV even works with uh, through the insulation. With just the 12 volts it was not doing that but with 120 it works even through the insulation. Again I'm touching it, you can see nothing is happening. So it's, uh, I'm actually sticking to my claim that it's not good at detecting DC. Now let's measure through uh, each individual batteries. Again here it will be 120 volts, nothing. This is just 12 volts and again uh, it's showing something at least, something like 12. If I'm touching on this side again it should be 24 volts but it's showing 12. Again at this point sometimes it even shows anything like you can see right now it's not showing anything. So it's completely random, its behavior is completely random when it comes to DC. Again, it should be somewhere in the 36 volt region, but it was only showing 12 volts. So let's uh, load the whole unit up. I'll be connecting the bulb. You can see almost 500 milliamps of current is flowing through the circuit right now. And uh, let's, let me show it. 
closely here you can see 500 milliamps and you can see the battery voltage is staying same because it's not a lot of current it's 120 volts and just to increase the current draw I'll be connecting the 500 watt low resistor to it it's just it's basically a very high value resistor uh, with just this bulb connected to the circuit you can see uh, it's almost doing just like how it did previously with a no load situation the neon bulb lights up obviously it's because it's more than 80 volts but this time the neon bulb is continuously on and it is reading just 12 volts with the whole 120 volt setup so it's not good at detecting that so again with that let's connect it to the 12 volt terminal and you can see nothing sometimes it shows 12 volts sometimes it's not I'm connecting some random pins it's not reading anything so I'm going to stick with my statement that it is not good at detecting DC I'm going to increase the current flow by connecting the 500 ohm resistive load to the circuit and the uh, flashing that the arcing is because it's DC and that is one of the dangers of using DC to power things you will create even for a small load like that you will create a lot of arcing and now you can see the current is almost 1.5 amps and the battery voltage is dropped slightly so even with such a in, at such an increase in current flow this is not detecting that the NCV part almost works just like you can see but again it's not showing the proper voltage or anything it's you know, it's just reading 12 volts sometimes and sometimes it's even not detecting that again you can see it's the same deal so yeah I'm not going to be using this thing for pretty much any standalone DC application like you know static DC or even DC loaded with uh, some kind of uh, battery setup it's not going to work so this I would rather use it for AC related stuff or with DC that has some kind of uh, reference to AC mains like a rectified DC that has uh, that is coming from the AC mains so it might work with something like that we would rather test that in a different video so I'm going to make uh, I'm going to stick with my claim that it's not good at detecting these kind of static DC that is completely isolated and it's completely uh, independent for from the mains by any means so as I said I'm not going to recommend this for any kind of operation that is related to DC but it's good when it comes to measuring or dealing with things that are working with AC so do I recommend it well of course if you want a niche product go ahead and buy one otherwise you don't need to thanks for watching guys see you with another video